During a recent interview with the New York Times, the co-founder of Rolling Stone magazine and a creator of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame got himself in a little bit of trouble when he was talking about his book, The Masters, that is due to come out on September 26th. The interviewer noticed that there were only white men listed as the masters in his book. And so when he was asked about it, he basically said that women and black people did not articulate enough to be considered a master in his book. Now, he was pressed even more so by the interviewer and the interviewer asked him about Stevie Wonder. And John Winner went on to say this. I suppose when you use a word as broad as masters, the fault is using that word. Maybe Marvin Gaye or Curtis Mayfield. I mean, they just didn't articulate at that level. So the gall of him to say that Curtis Mayfield, Marvin Gaye or Stevie Wonder were not considered masters because they weren't articulate enough. Now, the white men that he did list were that of Bono of the group U2, uh, then Mick Jagger, Bruce Springsteen, and John Lennon, just to name a few. Now, many of those men uh, in the groups that they were in said that they were heavily influenced by black artists like Howling Wolf, uh, Chuck Berry, Little Richard, just to name a few. And so it's like, do you mean to say that the men that you listed as masters, are you saying that they were original or what? Like what made them a master? I guess we have to find and read the book, which I'm not going to do. In fact, I hope the book uh, goes over like a lead balloon and it does not sell at all. But what made them a master in, in their craft as musicians? Because we know that most, if not all of the white musicians on the planet were influenced and are influenced by black artists that were ripped off, robbed, and never given the credit for any of their craft. So we also know that uh, many of those white artists would not be who they were if it wasn't uh, for a little bit of seasoning from black artists that they took and put in their bland casserole, right? And not to discourage any of those white men that were listed because they probably didn't tell him to do that. And I like some of those groups, but what we're not ever going to do is make it seem like those white people that he listed were um, original, right? Like they came up with that. They ain't rock and roll. As most devs said, Chuck Berry is rock and roll and Elvis and the rest of them, they ain't rock and roll. They, they, they stole that from our people. But the other thing is, this is why we should not be listening to white people tell us about who um, is great in our community because they don't know. That's who they deem to be great, but they, they don't validate us. They never have, and they never will. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of that. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.